for explaining the new product. We have Mr. Debashish Bhattacharya. He is the Vice President Sales, Marketing and Product Support, who is going to explain to us about the new product Udan that was launched at the XCon. Mr. Bhattacharya, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, it's all yours. Just explain to me. Thank you. Thank you so much for uh, coming across to XCon to our round of presentation. So this is an Udan, and uh, what is what we are talking about the concept is this is something which will shape the future of the rural segment. Ajax has been, like you said, like what Mr. Sah had already indicated that we are the category creator, right? So we created the category for self-loading concrete mixtures, the Argo series. That was closed about 15, 16 years back, and we have got a good expense. Today, what we feel at the rural segment level, at the smaller customer level, smaller contractor level, the rate of mechanization is still not to that extent. Okay. While we strive to do across with our existing range of Argo, but we still find the gap primarily because the volume of concrete is small and the size of the contractors is small. This so is that is how we came up with this concept. Okay. This is also a self-loading concrete mixer. Okay. Wherein it, it has a loading so attachment. Okay. So with this loading attachment, it mixes it mixes cement, sand, aggregate, and you have a water tank which will press across to the thing, and it will produce concrete out here. So in a per per batch, this can produce about 0.75 to 0.8 cubic meter per batch. And whatever it is mixing in terms of the proportion of proportion of hand cement, because in concrete the grade of concrete is extremely crucial. So that is all recorded in the mass controller route. Okay. So at any point of time, you take a print of this, it will tell you across this concrete batch what is the speciality of the concrete. So anybody who looks for accuracy, anybody who looks for a consistency of concrete across, they can ensure that it is consistent with this batch. So when a somebody is shifting across say from a manual mixer across to the next, this this is the thing that will mechanize the entire segment. And like we said, for us, it is like hum Bharat banayenge. Okay. Bharat is the rural part of India. Okay. Why we are already represented in the other segments across, and we think that until and unless we can mechanize down the value chain, bring them up, get across into the mechanism process, that is the way where we can actually speed up the infrastructure activity in India. So that is how we come up with this product. Can it, I mean, once uh, all the ingredients are loaded, this has to churn. Yes. Can it do churn uh, on the way? On the way itself. So the it takes time. So what happens is it has a batching time. So you have to put the mixing. Then after that it has a mixing time. Then it is transporting. Right. So what happens is in this particular product the mixing can also happen when it is transporting. No. Oh, so this is a combination. So today I have to prepare concrete. I have to transfer concrete. Right. So this is a combination machine which can do both of the jobs. And imagine from a manual mixer where everything is dependent so much on labor. You are straight away ready into a mechanized machine where you need two people there yeah. to load the cement, one operator out here, and yeah. max to max one helper. This can ensure that the concreting yeah, is done fast. The so the US, cost. exactly, the US is it will give productivity. It's a mobile machine. It will save labor. Because today, getting labor and early for those quantum of jobs becomes extremely difficult. This is what it does. On a segment, as we go up the segment, okay, the volume of concreting goes up, so you get across into batching plant. This is the 100, 100 cubic meter batching plant. So in one particular hour, okay, like in this, this is 0.8 cubic meter per batch. So in one hour, it can do three batches. So about 2.5 cubic meter. That is 40 times that. 100 cubic meter it can do. That's the data. So that is the range that we want to put. Anyway, between 2 cubic meter per hour to say about 120 cubic meter per hour concrete, we have the entire range. So the batching plants are an extension of that. And to, for that, you need placing that concrete. Yeah. So this is how you have these boom pumps. This will okay. place the concrete in a particular location. Okay. So this is what we are talking about, the patented product. Yes. Self-propelled boom pump. Okay. This is the patented product okay. because it is on an integrated chassis. If you see the normal boom pumps out here, yeah. these are fitted on a regular truck chassis. Okay. This is on an integrated chassis, four-wheel by four-wheel drive, four-wheel steering. Yeah. So this can ensure within a very small range. Can turn. No. And even if it is how high we road, into the slushy condition, this can go through. So this is at that advantage of course. So rest are all the regular products. No? Yes, these are all the regular products. Across. This is the one that we are talking about. Indigenously developed self. This is that slip form paver that we are talking about. Okay. This is for concrete roads. Okay. So we need to build NHA roads across it all. Mm. So this calls about the paving width. Okay. So in one single in one single paving, it can do 12 meter paving width. Okay. Which is the National Highway NHA standard, yeah. Authority on standard side, yeah. okay. Yes, one batch, one stretch. It can also do smaller sections, mm -hmm. but to the biggest section it can do. We have one more which can do about 7.5 meters. So 7.5 meter, it's SPX 754, and SPX 1204, which can do 12 meter paving width in one year.
and this is indigenously developed manufactured by us yeah. so today this is designed for india india and also, also for the world, world.